Hey guys, it's Kyle, and I'm explaining Tuesday's workout. Uh, after warm up, remember we're trying to get through warm up twice. Uh, those of you who know what's going on uh, and have done this quite a few times, you want to get through that warm up twice. Um, after that, we are going to take some time and work on our clean today. Um, we're going to be going from position two, unless you're still new to cleaning, then we will go from that position three, that upright position. But for everybody else, we're going to pause at position two, which is just above the knee, and then finish off our clean. So we're going to go down, we're going to get set up, we'll come up, we'll pause just above the knee, make sure the bar's back up against the legs, finish our clean. And we're going to build up to a heavy one rep there for that. Um, guys, this is really reinforcing position, you know, real strong, uh, you know, second pull where you, you're loading up those hamstrings, everything's nice and tight, your chest is still up, you're not tipped over, and it's just making you really strong in that position. Remember, our job is to get here and get to that three position before we fire. So uh, that's what we're working on today. This one's tough, it's hard. Uh, you gotta really be patient from getting the bar from here to here. So uh, have fun with this and it should help your school, or your, uh, your clean out. Um, after that, for the Metcon, um, if you guys have noticed, we've been doing a lot of taking whatever we do in the Olympic lift and putting it into the Metcon. Um, those of you who are better at Olympic lifting, these workouts are much more difficult because that percentage is going to be much uh, heavier than a person who is just getting the mechanics of how to clean. If you're a person who doesn't like to go into a full squat to hit your heavy, then it's never gonna really get that heavy because <clears throat> full squat catch, bar's obviously heavier, where if I can catch it here, it's not very heavy. So um, as you get better in your cleans, you know, these Metcons will get harder. Those of you who are practicing getting better at your clean or your snatch, this is great reinforcement of position, so it's good that you guys use a lighter weight and get used to, um, you know, the mechanics of how these lifts work. Um, you know, <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, sorry, I got sidetracked there. Uh, what we're gonna do for the Metcon is, oh, it's an um, EMOM, where we're gonna do cleans on one minute, and then we're gonna do double unders on the other minute. So, <clears throat> we're gonna take 80% of our heaviest clean for the day, and we're going to do hand cleans with that. So, you'll pick it up, stand all the way up, and then from here, you just gotta stay above the knee. So, you can power if it looks pretty. Uh, if it looks terrible, and your coach tells you to go into a full squat, you must go into a full squat. Um, you can go from here. That's okay too. Best clean ever, but uh, those are both okay. Um, uh, you know, 80% is a good guideline unless your coach tells you one way or the other. Uh, there are RX and RX Plus weights. Um, those are weights that you would probably see at competitions. That's why they're up there. So that's what you're gonna do on the first minute. So on the, the odds, you'll do five cleans. And then after that, you'll do double unders. So the second minute comes up, three, two, one, go. Grab your rope, stay close to your body, and do double unders, not singles. And you'll finish off those in that minute. Uh, um, yeah, if you do not have double unders, if you can't jump rope at all, you can do singles. If you have singles, we really want you to start getting double unders, so the other option for the double unders is jumping back and forth laterally over the bar. So you'll have two. Seven, that would be seven. So each time you go over, it would be one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and that's what you're gonna do in that minute. Same amount. 
Singles and doubles are not the same. You're way more out of breath doing doubles. Uh, that's about equivalent because you got to jump higher. So that's what we're going to do for those people who have singles down but need a harder, do harder work uh, and don't quite have doubles down. So that'll be the scaling. Uh, the three scalings or the two scalings for double under. You can do doubles over bar if you have singles. And if you don't have singles at all, you can work on just being able to do singles. Then you'll come back to uh, uh, using the bar. Uh, on the double, guys, I don't care. If you're learning, this is good practice for getting doubles. If you don't get all the ones that you, you're shooting to get, um, <coughs> You know, don't pick a number like 40 um, if you have trouble doing 10. So, you know, pick a scaling that you know you can hit that number consistently, and next time practice hitting another number a little higher consistently in your EMA. So, uh, this will be great practice today, guys. Those cleans, if you hit a heavy clean, that 80% is going to get tough. Uh, it's going to get hard to do those double liners being winded and going back and forth. Uh, so it should be uh, should be good practice on both of those while being tired. So so have fun with this one, guys, and enjoy.